are on. We've already been going. Really? Uh huh. What's up, man? Not too much, man. What's going on with you? Live my truth. Are you ready to do this podcast? I'm, dude, I missed you. <laughs> you recorded an episode without me. I did. It was the worst. And who? I thought- listened. I listened to it. I listened to it. And I loved it because it had our intro music. It had you talking. But I was like, something's missing. Yeah. Me. You. I'm missing. And and guess who else? <laughs> guess who else noticed you were missing? All the all, all the, the listeners. listeners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, you did good though. I did. I. Yeah, it's better than yeah. the the human rights in the water. Really? Or in the woods? Yeah. Okay. All right. In the woods? Yeah. I don't know. I felt I felt it wasn't that good, but then I kind of listened to it. I'm like, okay, this is not bad. I did all right. Yeah. It sounded good. <laughs> I tried to talk a little bit slower. I tried to, but... You did good. Well, what's up, guys? My name's Andrew. And my name's Brian, and you're listening to the Anfield Humidor. We can look at the camera. Uh, We have an interesting (laughs) show, right? I would say pretty interesting. Yeah, we got a good show. We got some different stuff going on today. We got a good show. Right? Um, I'm excited. But one thing we have to mention before we get going is if you listen to this podcast, like so many of you do, please... (laughs) Excuse me. I just got... (laughs) Hey, Anfield Humidor... (laughs) This is the Anfield Humidor where we smoke cigars. Um, but yeah, so if you listen to this podcast, like and subscribe. Yes. Please. If you're on YouTube, press the like button. Leave an honest five star review. If you don't like it, thumbs down, right? Or no? I can't say that. <laughs> I yeah. can't say it. If you don't like it, just just walk away. It's free. This is a free podcast. <laughs> I'm smoking. But if you're you, out. On, you are smoking me out so bad. But if you're listening to this on the iTunes podcast, subscribe, right? Leave yeah. a rating. Five star Five star, review. Five star only. Love it. Five star only. No, we would love an <laughs> honest five star review. Uh, or, an, or, but, a not, or a not so honest four star review. Yeah. That doesn't make any yeah. sense. Okay. I get what you're saying though. <laughs> but no, we're on, what are we on? We're on iTunes. We're on Spotify. Mm-hmm. We're on SoundCloud. We're on Stitcher. Stitcher. Google Play. Google Play. So and, uh, give us a share, give us a like, give yes. us a review on any of those platforms. Yes. Share this podcast, please. We really, uh, we're looking for, uh, we're looking for, I don't know, just to. We want it to grow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Because we don't want to be two morons sitting in a Golden Corral parking lot. <laughs> That's where we are today. We're at a Golden Corral parking lot. We don't oh. feel comfortable right now. People, I feel fine. I feel you fine. You feel now. fine? The oh, camera's because, on. Because once that once you press record, I'm good. Because you were complaining the whole time. But getting now ready. I'm good. Now okay. I'm good. I'm good. All right. All right. Um, so I'm gonna give you a rundown of what we have today. Um, obviously, we're gonna talk about the game, that beautiful win over. Oh my goodness. Over Burnley. Who's Burnley? I don't know, man. I don't know, but they were booing us enough. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna talk about that. Um, we're going to do our top three, as usual, the fan favorite top three. <laughs> is that our fan favorite? That's a fan favorite. I think the new fan favorite is coming tonight. Okay, so what he's doing is he's teasing what's coming. And the segment, I did tease it in the last podcast. I heard it. I was It's excited. called Poetry in the Dodge Ram. No, it's called Poetry in Dodge Ram. I think Poetry in the Dodge Ram. Poetry, poetry in the Dodge, Dodge Ram. Ram. Tra la 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 la. Poetry in the Dodge Ram. Tra la 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 la. Poetry in the Dodge Ram. Tra la 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 la. We're the best two best friends in the world. Yes, we are. I have another version of that. All right. I don't want to hear it. Just the end. That one's perfect. It is perfect. All right, go ahead. Poetry in the Dodge Ram. Poetry in the Dodge Ram. Tra la 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 la. Mine's better. I forget it. I forget it. Freaking botch. You boshed that, bro. Oh, that's right. That's right. This poetry sucks. We don't care. The podcast is free. The podcast is free. I like, I like the best two best friends, friends in, in the, the world. world. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's funnier. So basically, we wrote a couple poems about Liverpool. One each. One each. Maybe I wrote two. <laughs> and we're going to say the poems. It could be a good laugh, but we'll have to see. And then maybe a political five if anything comes to mind. Only if anything comes to mind. Five minutes. A political, political five. five. That's the name of the segment, Political Five. Did you name that? Well, I just put Political Five right there. <laughs> so I want to tell you about something here. All right. Van Dyke, right? Yeah. He's 28 years old. Okay? okay. He just won the UEFA, UEFA Champions League Player, Player of, of the year. year. And? And the UEFA Champions League Defender of the Year. He's won Screw the you, champ- Messi. He's won the Champions League. 
He's won the UEFA Super Cup. Was that what they won? UEFA Super Cup? Yeah, against Chelsea. And he's 28 years old. So my question for you is, how old are you? 27. Andrew, you're 27. What have you done with your life? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I have a beautiful family. <laughs> but I don't have that, what is that repertoire. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. Lighter. I think about that. I think about that. And I think about Robertson. Yeah. I think about Andy Robertson. Yeah. I'm 27. Uh-huh. Andy Robertson is 26. I know. He, I he know. was born a year after me. It's very depressing. Uh-huh. It's very depressing when I looked up Van Dyke's birth date and it's 91. Yeah. I'm 88. And I paint for a living. <laughs> <laughs> You've done nothing. I've done nothing, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, but you have, you have like, they grew up in that, right? And yeah. you, you suck at soccer. And Do you I? suck at painting. So it's like... You getting by is a miracle. Mm. They, oh, yeah. they, <laughs> they're actually good I'm human joking. beings. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know you are. But they, they grew up with it. That was their, that was their job. You know yes. what I mean? Like their only option was to play soccer for a living. Yes. You think like when you're that gifted at something? For sure. Like, are you gifted? You're gifted at guitar, right? Yeah. You are. You're really yeah. good at guitar. Right. If you pursued that and that alone. Mm-hmm. You'd be fine. Tell, th- me what, think, tell me what else I'm gifted. Go ahead. Uh, I want to be stroked. I want to be stroked. You're right gifted now. at <laughs> being a kick. loser. Don't. No. Oh, okay. But you're gifted at a certain thing, right? Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. you're good at guitar. If you focus solely on, it's like it's like that champions, like LeBron, right? You think of LeBron. You don't care Wayne about Wade, basketball. Dwayne Reed Johnson. What did I say last yeah. time? <laughs> <laughs> but you think about these athletes, the Tom Brady's, the Kobe, the, Wells Fargo, the, the sorry, Tom Brady's, the Lionel Messi's, the yeah. the Kobe Bryant's, the right. Dwayne, like the Dwayne Wade's. These people that are so focused on the sport that right. that's the only thing they have. If you did that with something that wasn't a sport, but you know, not you'd only be equally successful not only do you need the focus and the talent, you need the brain. For example, Jordan Henderson, he might not be the most I gifted mean, soccer player. I mean, he is. I, I'm just saying, compared to like a Salah, who's just so naturally gifted. Did you see him this game? I did, but oh we'll get to that. We'll get to goodness. that in a second. You just lost. We said we weren't going to interrupt each other, and sorry. now now my train of thought is okay. It's so all right. So sorry. Read read the notes uh, and uh, get uh, back to where you were. Where was I? <laughs> um, oh yeah, you have to be gifted, obviously, but you also need the parents who are one hundred percent on board and pushing you, because as a kid, they need to start you when you're four years old. You don't care when you're four. You know that's anyway, my opinion. Grow up in it. You need to grow up in yeah. it. You have to career some, athletes. You have to somehow stick with it when you're. When you start falling off of it, that's when your parents come in and say, no, you're sticking with this, which is tough. Like, I don't want to push my kids to do stuff. You do? <laughs> no, I wanna, you I want to let them. I know I will. If they're gifted at something, because, like, that's what... That's, that's All I'm saying, if they're gifted, if Liam is gifted at soccer, and he's playing soccer, and he's having a great time playing soccer, and then he could be, he's 13, when he, when he turns 13, he doesn't like soccer anymore, I'm not going to make him continue playing soccer. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I'll make him finish the season out. He'll have to, he'll have to stick with his commitments, but I'm not gonna, I, I, you know. That's that's the difference between that is somebody difference. who's good at sports and a career athlete. Yes, they're a career athlete. That's the yes. only thing they've ever known. All right. But shout out, shout out to Virgil Van Dyke. Yeah. For wiping the floor with uh, Lionel Messi. Who's Cristiano Ronaldo? Who, is he who, still relevant? Who knows? Who is he? Did is you see him play for Juventus? Did you see the picture of them standing receiving their award? Like Van Dyke towers over Messi. <laughs> I mean, Messi's an awesome player. I'm, I'm just saying. It was so cool seeing Van Dyke in the center of everybody. Yeah. Allison next to him, who's also huge, you know. But Van Dyke with his freaking hair, <laughs> just standing there. That's his. That's his face. I can't. I can't do his face. With the look of, it's the look of like I'm gonna kill you on his face at all times. It's recording. I know. Okay. I was making the face. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a face. Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. And congratulations to Allison. Uh, Defender, defender, uh, no, uh, goalie of the year. Yeah, UEFA goalie of the year. Yeah, right. That's how yep. it works. Goalie of the season. So congratulations to both of them. And I like what uh, I don't know if Van Dyke said it. No, Jurgen said it. Jurgen said they asked him about Van Dyke's player of the year, and he goes, "Yeah, you know." He said something along the lines of, "He's the player of the year, backed by the best team in the world." Like mm. we were happy to, for him to come back. With that award, because we all earned that award, yeah. and That's I thought awesome. that was so cool. That's so cool. Because Virgil doesn't need a bigger head than he has, you know, <laughs> or a bigger bun, <laughs> bigger man bun definitely, than he has. Definitely not a bigger bun. So that game, um, which one? The, the Burnley. 
No, the basketball game. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> the cricket game. Yeah, the Burnley game. The three nil win Yo, at Burnley. What? Wait. What? Wait. 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 What a Liverpool game that was. Yeah. You had Arsenal, which was a Liverpool game. That okay. was that was a traditional Liverpool game. Attack, 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 and okay defensively. Yeah. Okay defensively. Yeah. This game, great. Do you do you think this game was we better had a than shot on goal? Forty five seconds in. Yeah. Come on. Sorry. Yeah. What were you saying? Do you think this game, it we played better this game than the Arsenal yes. game? Yes. Really? I do. I think that Liverpool's attack. I watched I watched the game in my store. Mm-hmm. Five minutes into the game, Liverpool already had like seven attacks. Yeah. It was so cool. Yeah. You saw these Mane cross routes, back passes to to Trent, like just these yeah. amazing, amazing plays. I thought Liverpool came out with guns blazing. They did. I think I think As it was, it was Salah who had a shot on goal. No, Mane had a shot on goal forty five seconds in. Okay. I think Fabinho took a shot a minute and thirty seconds in. That was like forty-five yards out, or was it doesn't matter. One? It yeah, was yeah. there. It was it was three feet high. Yeah, it was still on target. Did you see Virgil's shot from forty-five yards out? Yeah, he's like, and even the announcer said it. I'm Player of the Year. I'm doing whatever I want. It just looked, <laughs> it looked so good to see Liverpool back. Liverpool's defense was great. Trent yeah. showed up. Rabo showed up. Yeah. Mo Salah was the Mo Salah that we chant about. He was amazing. He you know really, how many opportunities he made? Yes. It was just a great game. I think all in all, great game. And I know I've said this about our strikers, but I don't know. Firmino, is, he's our number nine. He scored, bro. Our number nine. Give okay. him the ball and he scored today, so why are you complaining? I'm not complaining at okay, all. Okay, keep going. I'm just saying Firmino, <laughs> Firmino is our number nine. Like striker, just straight up striker. And he does so much more than that. I'm not saying he doesn't. But Mane and Salah... What they, what they do <laughs> off of the ball. And Mane, how many times Mane wins the ball? There was some stat. Like how many times this, I think it was this season so far in only four games, whatever we played. How many times he's won the ball back for, for our team? We don't have the ball. He's number 10, you know, and he wins the ball back by running back. He works so hard. And Salah, like you said, the amount of chances he's creating and the stuff oh, he's doing. Oh, my goodness. What he's it's doing, crazy. what he's doing. It's crazy. And he'll also be back on defense. I yeah. mean, it's just, I, I, I wouldn't replace those two. And obviously for Mino as well, I wouldn't replace him with any other, you give me any other striker, Messi's a different animal. Let's not talk about Messi. Yeah, different, league, any, different offense. Too. Yeah, and anyone, anyone would take Messi. But I'm just saying, given the, you know, the guys we have, I wouldn't replace him with anyone. There was talk about Liverpool need to, to buy a striker. a striker, yeah. Which is true. If like if Firmino gets injured, we got a Rigi, sure. But we have um, Ox. Well he's not a striker, he's like midfield. I know, but we have we have Ox, we have Shakiri, yep. we have a Rigi. Yep. We have uh is Brewster? Yeah. He's still Brewster's around. a striker, he's yep. still around, he's yep. a young kid. Uh huh. You have you have some depth there. You do. I'm just saying I think you have depth with a Rigi. I think that's Of course, but if Mane Champions League Sala Mane. or Firmino go down we're losing a world class striker. World class. Yeah. Origi doesn't fill those boots. Like Origi is clutch. Obviously, we got to give him credit. Two goals in the Champions League final. You know. Come <laughs> on, come on Divac. We love you, man. I'm just saying Divac like Origi. it would have been nice to have someone to replace those guys, but I wouldn't want it. Give me anybody. I don't want it. Um that's all I'm trying to say. I love those guys so much, and I, I'll, I'm going to say it every oh, podcast. It, it just, I'm going to say it every podcast how much I love them. How good, <laughs> how good, how good it was to see Liverpool back fully. Yeah, I think back fully the, with and and this is this is due. We're due a talking point on this. Adrian's first clean sheet. Yes, Adrian's first clean sheet, and he had a great game. Uh, Virgil Virgil uh, tweeted, I think, a couple hours ago. Uh-huh. He said, uh, you know. Uh, up, thumbs up on the on the three points uh-huh. and a, and a clean sheet. Yes, I love that little shout out. Yes, because that's huge, and he he plays a huge part in that. And so did Trent in this game. But I think Trent I think Trent made some clutch plays inside the eighteen defensively. I really do. Um, he had a couple. He had a, like a, a knee that resulted in a corner kick. Like he 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 needed up. I know exactly that. which one you're talking about. That was like eighteen minutes in. I yep. think. Yep. Um, Trent was responsible. Virgil's responsible. Fabinho's responsible for that clean sheet. Yeah. But just that little, that little, 
I, I know it's a tweet and take take it for what it is. Yeah. But just saying our first clean sheet. Like, mm-hmm. Adrian, you won us the Super Cup. You gave up a couple weird goals. Yeah. You you gave up a weird a couple weird chances of losing a goal. Yep. Or or conceding a goal. But yep. congrats on your first clean sheet. That's awesome. It's against a team that was attacking from the beginning. They looked great. They had a couple great attacks from the outside. Uh, a couple solid uh, crosses that were just present inside the mm-hmm. 18. They looked great. Um, he had I'd probably say four or five clutch saves. Yeah. Uh, he knocked that that like first half. Uh, it was like a cross, yeah. like a, it was a, it was a goal. It was a goal. Mm-hmm. That was a goal. He, he saved that big shouts, first clean sheet. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and watching awesome. and watching him during that game, Adrian, 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 whatever his name is. Um, he, you know, I was trying to watch him closely and he had a good game. He wasn't challenged so much. Like he, he had to, he, he didn't do so much in that game. Like obviously he made those clutch saves, like you're saying, but positionally there was one of those situations again. Where Van Dyke's running back and Adrian's running up. You saw that though, right? And Adrian took charge. Yep. And they were they were more in sync. And uh, a couple corners, Adrian punched. He was confident with the punch. One didn't go that far, but great game. Yeah. Great game. No mistakes. Uh, distribution was still his style. Distribution. It's not his game. But he honestly he deserves praise it's for a that great game. Didn't make any mistakes. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. And. Like I said in the past podcast, he's made the mistakes. They're done, hopefully. You know, I'm not saying he won't make a mistake the rest of the time, but they're done. It's over, done, and dusted. He's getting praise from Jurgen Klopp. So you know he's taking that back into the, into the dressing room, yeah. just praising him. The whole team was praising him today. You know that. Yeah. And that's great. Yeah, it's you know? good to see. It's, it's good awesome. to see. It's, it's good awesome. to see a, a well a well uh, played game yeah. on from every position. I think I think Klopp played the right players. Yeah. I think this I think Well the, Klopp Klopp played the right players. That's our best that's our best That's our best team. Starting I think that's our best team. Yeah for sure. Anytime I see Trent and Rob Robertson <laughs> across from each other. Oh yeah. I get like this slight butterfly of yeah. I can't wait to watch them pass to each other. Like that's like my yeah. I look forward to that. I look forward to seeing like I think Trent and Robertson had some great crosses. The Manny's goal was a result of a great cross. Like yeah. there was just so many good yeah. touches in that game. I don't know if you remember. Great to watch as a fan and great to watch as just a Liverpool supporter that loves seeing this team have everything together. I don't know if you remember um Trent's run. He made one really good run where he beat two guys and tried to get a shot off. Yeah. And it's just like, what is this kid gonna do in the future? I saw his goal. Yeah, it's goal. That's so freaking. Funny. It was a deflection. It, I, it was goal. It, it was a deflection on goal. I know, but the commentator said Trent's first goal of the season. But it wasn't. He didn't know. realize the deflection. But quick story on that. I was <laughs> so I run. I run a pretty busy store. I run a a, a sub shop. I own a sub shop, and it does. We do about one point two million dollars a year. So we are crazy all the time. And I was like super emotional today, because I'm. I was watching the game. Uh huh. I was watching. You know, I was taking my breaks off the line to just stare at the TV. Yep. And then I watched all the highlights, so I uh-huh. made sure I saw everything. But Trent scored, and I got super emotional because I missed it. I was talking to a customer, and I was like, I missed Trent's first goal of the year. Like, yeah. like I got goosebumps. I was I super know. upset. Like, that's Trent's first goal of the season. But you didn't miss much because it was a fluke. It was a goal, though. It was known. It wasn't. He doesn't get credit for it at I know. all. I saw that. I saw that on the stat line. Even on all the uh, replays, you couldn't tell it was a deflection until one angle. And they're like, oh, it wasn't. It's a known goal. Yeah. You know, which is You a heard shame. the commentator say it. Though, yeah, too. They're yeah. Like, they're like, Trent's first goal yes. of the season. You love to see it. Like, oh. they, were, they were cheering for him. Oh, man. I can't wait till he rips one outside the 18. Free kicks. He does, oh, oh. He does free kicks well. But I want to see him an in-play goal. Outside the 18 bender. I can't. Oh, the second he does that, man, I'm going to be screaming. I'll be so happy. Uh, I want to talk about Virgil. Like, we don't give him enough praise. But in that game, he made a mistake. He got beaten twice. Not beaten. I saw that. He got juked. Yeah. Not not beaten, but. He was coming full sprint, though, backwards. He was yeah. coming full sprint. And that, he was got, the, that was the first he got one. Stopped up on that him. was the first one that he got beat. Like, he cut, the guy cut in. Yeah. It but was then stop, the second though. one, the second one, he got unlucky. Like, he came directly, he crossed the player, his feet were in the right positions, and the player got lucky, and it missed him. Besides those, he was unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Untouchable. I can't tell you how many times that game, the ball got crossed, or, or a through ball, and he's there. Positionally, he's nuts. And 
his running. I got to. I got to make. I'm, I'm shutting you up when I do that. <laughs> I'm not talking. I know. I'm just saying. Um, his. Um, what are you? What are you trying to get? Nothing. I'm trying to get the uh, video. His. Um, <laughs> he, the way he can keep that high line. That is, he's a keep a high line and do the offside trap. Liverpool have been doing it for the last, they did it last season, and the offside trap scares me to death because I, I rarely ever see it work. It works for this Liverpool team because you have, twice. You have Van Dijk um, running that back line, and they listen, man. Yeah. Matip, Robbo, uh, um, Trent, they all listen to that so much, and so many times it gets called offside, and... This ball gets passed, and you see Van Dyke like, yeah, I'm going to jog to it, but I know it's offside. <laughs> you know? He's so confident. So to have that power to control that offside trap is just, I don't know who the man of the match is. Did, did you see who it was? I think it's Mo. Was it Mo? Was it, was it Mo? I can't imagine it was Mo because of the whole debacle. Remember the Mane debacle? Yeah. Um, so we can talk about that now. <laughs> That's the major headline is, I don't know if you saw it like when you were working, but Mo twice in that game could have given an easy pass within the 18. To go, to, to Mane. Once to Firmino, no, right? Once to Firmino, once to Mane. And he didn't give it to Mane, and then Mane got subbed off right away, and Mane was livid. Yeah. He was screaming on the bench. He was screaming. He's mad at Salah. He, he must have been mad at somebody else too because he was screaming on the bench. And then there was an Instagram video of Firmino calming him down. Firmino's such a cool, level-headed guy. He's like, bro, it's all, we got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got this thing. <laughs> and I just, it's no big deal. They're going to get over it. They're good friends. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they're good friends, but they're going to get, they're going to get over it. But that was, uh, so, so Salah's getting crap for that. But Salah, he's, that's his nature. He's selfish. That's what he does. That's what he does. That's what he does. He's, he's taking that shot. Yeah. He's and, taking and the you, shot. If if Salah is inside the 18, he's either taking the shot or he's dumping it out, repositioning so he can take another shot. Yeah. That's what he does. He, yeah. That's so, what he does. So good. He wants he wants the goal. And mm-hmm. that's a good thing to see mm-hmm. in a striker. You like to see that in Mo. All that being said, it was his fault. He yeah. should have passed it to Mane. But like I said, you get mad at each other. As Mane, you say, Mo, what's going on, Mo? And then you leave it at that. You know, you shouldn't go crazy on the sidelines. But hey. Manny's a pretty level-headed guy too, and he got he got a little uh, you know, he got a little heated, and that's okay. <laughs> that's perfectly fine. Okay, so should we take a little break? I think so. Let's take let's take one second break, and the power of editing, we're gonna come right back. One second, hold on. Right things back. things need to happen right now. <laughs> and we are back from that short little break. We won't tell you what it was about, it but it's a bathroom break. But, <sighs> I was gonna try to make it funny. That's funny. Mine is funnier. That's good. We're not going to tell you what it was about, but it was a bathroom break. <laughs> or no, we had to go to the toilet. <laughs> had to use say, the lavatory. As they say in England. Yeah, use go go to the toilet. Go, yeah, you got use you got to go to the toilet. Like a little like we're little babies. <laughs> yeah. You want to go go in the toilet. All right, so uh, that's it for our Liverpool discussion. Unless we naturally go into it, but let's go right into our top three now. Um, top three or worst three? Okay. Okay. This is a staple of this podcast. Top three. Okay, that wasn't funny. Uh, <laughs> this is a staple of this podcast. Top three, worst three. We pick our top three or worst three things. I we ask was, each other. We ask each other. It was. We ask each other on the fly, and we try to come up, and normally well, it's pretty fun. So um, let's do, let me do mine. Okay. You want to do yours first? No, go ahead. I'm going to do mine. Mine are not Liverpool related. Okay. Worst three, chain restaurants. Oh, in America, worst Can I three. Answer this right now, or ask you and give you time to think. Ask me. Mine are the top three pieces of Liverpool gear that you want to acquire. So anything to do with Liverpool, okay. something you want to purchase, okay, and have like just for yourself, okay. Uh, whether it be you know merch, New Jersey, whatever it is, but top three pieces of Liverpool equipment that you want, okay. Anything. All right. Anything right. Liverpool related. I got two. No, don't, don't. Just just save it. But I'll do my top three because it's, it's super easy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Number one. Wait. We'll go number three. There you I'll go. I'll do number three. There you go. My third uh, least favorite chain restaurant. It's hard. I'm, I'm trying to narrow Let it down Let me just preface quick. this by saying he's a trained chef. Went to CIA. 
<laughs> he's the best in the he's the best in the business. This guy, go ahead. All right, uh, number three has got to be Red Lobster. <laughs> okay, why Red Lobster? So, <laughs> when you care about food and you yeah. care about like the quality of ingredients, mm -hmm. you expect high prices for like. So people don't know this, but like wild caught shrimp don't exist. So there's no such thing as like wild caught shrimp. But they still will say wild caught. That and I love good this. quality shrimp. <laughs> like I love this. Good quality shrimp costs about twenty eight dollars a pound. Okay. If it's twenty eight dollars a pound when you get a six ounce portion of shrimp, in order for that person to make money, you're looking at like a nineteen to twenty dollar entree. Right. right? For so six ounces like, for six ounces. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. you know you're getting quality product when the seafood prices are high. Yeah. Red Lobster is like the Burger King of seafood. <laughs> like, they buy this garbage product. They buy this gross, frozen... I'm not saying frozen fish is bad, but just gross, frozen, mass-produced, farmed product. And they sell it with, like, a butter sauce. And now, all of a sudden, yeah. every American consumer goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just bad product. It's gross. That's like Jim Gaffigan's joke. You don't like lobster. You like butter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you just, you, you, you dunk this really crappy seafood yes. in this really salty liquid, and now all of a sudden you love it. Yeah. You no, know, you like salt. Yeah, exactly. You don't like quality seafood. So, Red Lobster, that's a chain restaurant. That's number, now that's before, number three. Before you continue, he, the, I, I'm not a big food guy. He's getting me into it, and I love it now. I'm not a big seafood guy. I never liked seafood because I never had good seafood. So, this kid took me to get oysters. And what a great experience. Raw oysters. Raw oysters. Yeah, yeah. What a great experience that was. There's a knowledge behind everything you eat. And if you yeah. know how to eat things properly, yes. they're good. So that has they opened my mind. You have to, there's a system. There's a yeah. system, systematic way to eat prepared foods. Like yeah. you're, you're paying an upcharge for food, right? Yeah. Which means the service that went into the food needs to be worth the upcharge. Yes. So like an oyster costs $1.25. You're paying $3 an oyster. Why? Because it was opened properly, because they served it right, yep. it was ser it was rotated right. You got a fresh piece of shellfish in a restaurant that's that didn't catch it itself. You know, right. there's there's practice that goes into it. So okay, so now that you've put to sleep all of our listeners, what's your number two? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> number two is Burger King. Really? Just close. Just, just close. Just, cl just close <laughs> all your. <laughs> why why Burger King and not Wendy's? Wendy's is good. They're okay. making improvements and okay. they're changing. Yeah, you're right. Burger, Burger King is King, pretty stagnant. It's been the same Burger thing King is since the, the 80s. Burger King is the Kmart of, <laughs> of, of, of food. Like, right? Like, Kmart. Close. close. You're done for, Kmart. Walmart's got you beat. Walmart's got you beat on prices. Yep. Target has you beat on service. What does Kmart have? Dirty floors <laughs> and, and, and dollar candy. And drug addict cashiers. That's all they got. <laughs> Okay, but, but Burger King, okay. your your food's gross. Uh huh. You're not doing anything different. I don't care about chicken fries. They're just chicken nuggets that are cut thin. <laughs> like, you're not doing anything. It's you're not doing anything. It's a different shape no, of chicken. It's, not. it's the same thing. <laughs> so Burger King, unless you retrofit and just rebuild your brand, just you, close all your stores. Do you think they will? No. Okay. No, they're closing. They're closing a lot of franchises. They close one right by my house. Yeah, they're closing a lot. And they of franchises. replaced it with a Bagel King. It, they're disgusting. Uh, you know, so Burger like, King's number like two. King. No, Burger King's disgusting. Burger King. Bagel King is good. Okay. Wrong King. Wrong King. Burger King gross. Bagel King great. Do you get crowns at Bagel King? Probably you don't not. get crowns, crowns at Burger of, King. Crowns of locks. Nobody gets those. Okay, number one. Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> I knew Applebee's. What coming. a garbage establishment. What? <laughs> Everything is wrong with Applebee's. The customers, the place, the decor, the food, the drinks. The everything. Everything is bad the about Applebee's. The drinks, the beers on tap are probably the best part. No, they're Miller Lite, Guinness, Coors Light, Angry Orchard Cider, and some... Blue Moon. No, garbage mass-produced IPA. Goose Island. I don't want a Ugh. Goose Island. When you ever go to a bar and go, get me a Goose Island, you Goose, don't order that. Goose Island is gross. It's gross. I mean, I get it. And then the other IPA? But it's gross. The other IPA every Applebee's has? Sam Adams Rebel IPA. Okay, cool. A six-pack is six bucks. <laughs> Why am I paying five ninety nine for a draft? Yeah, it's yeah. garbage. So okay. their beer's gross. They advertise the key thing about Applebee's is your late night friendly neighborhood yes, Applebee's. Yes. Come around to your late night friendly neighborhood Applebee's. It's never friendly. No, it's never good. No, 
the food comes out, you get half-priced apps. That's sweet, half-priced apps. They're cold. So thank you for my cold buffalo wings at 11.30 at night. I really appreciate it. Cold buffalo wings for three bucks. It's worth it. Yeah. Just a garbage piece. Yeah, I hear you. Those are horrible. I think the worst part about Applebee's are the people that go there. I, now, if you like Applebee's and you go there, fine. No. But at least, no. no. Repent. No, repent. Repent, repent run, of your run, sins. Run from your <laughs> Applebee's transgressions. But at least in, in where we live, Howell, New Jersey, that Applebee's, oh my goodness. I never want to go back in there go again. Go to a dive bar. Yeah. If you want affordable appetizers and cold beer, which is the only thing Applebee's has, yeah. you're not going there for their prime rib dinner. Or their salmon, <laughs> or their yeah, or their salmon salad. Their microwave you're salmon. You're going for app. You're going for Applebee's appetizers. Yeah. And cold beer. Yeah. Go to a bar. Go to a local dive bar. Yeah. You don't. It's the same thing. You can get calamari for six bucks. Like just go. Yeah. Ugh. Mm. Applebee's needs to close. Burger yeah. King needs to close. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Applebee's ain't going nowhere. No, they're good. <laughs> they're good. They're, they, good, they're they, a good brand. They make money. Yeah. So they're that's how they do it. <laughs> Two for twenty. Ugh. Two for More 20. like garbage for 20. Two it's for just 20. trash. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'll give you that. What are you smoking? Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about our cigars. What are you smoking? I'm smoking a, a Le Bijou again. How many times have you smoked I'm gonna, that on I'm going to do my classic. Hold on. Oh, the real slow. Real slow. <laughs> Blurry? Okay. Blurry? Okay. Yeah, Le Bijou. Le, La Bijou, Le Bijou. Um, I bought four cigars for vacation. I only smoked two. Okay. And we're smoking the, the leftovers. So I got a Le Bijou, and what do you got? I have the the Fathead, or Flathead? Yeah. Flathead or Fathead? That was Fathead. 660? I think 660? it's Flathead. Is it Flathead? Flathead 660. Yeah. Flathead. By CAO. That, that's good, because you got a Flathead. By CAO? Chow? Cow? How do you Cow? say it? Cacao? Is it? Cocoa? How do you say it? Cocoa? Cacao? What is it? What's going on with that? <laughs> cow? Is it cow? I don't know. I think it's CAO. I don't know. But, but it's a great cigar. This yeah, yeah. one. This is a great cigar. Uh, we had this, I think we had this at a... Uh, a tiny cigar shop where we smoked in the back room, like the closet. You remember oh, that, that place? was so cool. In, in Ewing, uh, Ewing, Ewing, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. In Ewing, New Jersey, Ewing, New Jersey. It was, he hasn't lived here long, but it's towards Pennsylvania. Well, it's like 195 West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So it's, no, it's nowhere near Pennsylvania, but sure. It's, it's towards like 20 towards minutes from Pennsylvania. 35. For all people that listen, and we talked about subscribing and posting a comment, can you please just tell him that he's wrong and Ewing is like 20 minutes from and Pennsylvania? And also, also homework you have to do is go on our Instagram account and you have to search <laughs> search down on our earlier videos and there's a video of me videotaping Andrew outside of an Applebee's. And he, he, he gives his feelings of Applebee's in that video as well. <laughs> that was garbage that you dragged me there. But yeah, this cigar, awesome cigar. It's a torpedo cut, which is one of our favorites. Yeah, that's and, my um, favorite. Yeah, and uh, it's a pretty tight draw. That one. Yeah, loose draw. Loose but it's great. Draw. It's so yeah. good. And and like and it so smokes well. And this it smokes cigar, well. this cigar. I'll show you the label. That's the that's the Flathead 660. It's a great cigar. It's about what what was the what what cut is it? It's, what do you call this? That, I don't know if it's a Toro. Is it a Toro? Toro. Is it a Robusto? It's not a Robusto. It's not a Robusto. Might be a Toro. Toro? It's hard to say because it's, it's about this it's box. Pressed. Right here, so I lit it up. Great cigar. This, better cigar. I'm yeah. I'm about 25% into this smoke. Yeah. It's good. It's bitter. I got spice notes. Mm -hmm. I got I got like herbal, like lavender. It's great. It's a great cigar. Much better than the one we had yesterday. That was pretty trash, that one. The or light. What was that? It was light. I don't remember. Moo, moo, something. <laughs> Moo, Do that again. <laughs> moo, moo, something. <laughs> um, all right, my top, top my, three. Top three. <laughs> top three. Do I keep stuttering? I think it's cool. Do I? But do I? <laughs> do, 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 do. No, I'm saying, that's like the intro. People, the top three. stay, stay tuned. We're about to do our poems. Okay. Top three. All right, what am I doing? Top three gear that I want to buy my next purchases. All right, I got them all. One doesn't exist yet, but I got them all. Okay. All right? Uh, three. Number three is going to be the Away Black, the new Away jersey, the third kit. I think it's the third kit, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the third kit, um, black and teal, Robertson. Really want a Robertson jersey. He deserves it. Mm. I deserve it. We all deserve it. <laughs> Everybody deserves it. Okay. Um, you get a Robertson jersey. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get. And one. you get a Robertson yeah, jersey. If they all, if only they weren't ninety bucks. Oh, ninety pounds. Is it? No, I think it's ninety bucks. Like seventy pounds or something like that. Like, no, they're like they're expensive. Plus shipping. Yeah, it's so expensive. So it's like seventy eight pounds plus shipping yeah. plus currency exchange. I know it's so expensive. It's super expensive. And then my number two, I'm still waiting on it from you. 
Oh. Apparently you were getting it for me. I but was, but you didn't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number one, false. No, I know you did. False. I pay you all the time. You did. You know, you begged Brian, please, please pay me. Bro. So I help him at work. I help him at work. Keep he going. Does. He does. Um, so my number two is a red, this year, a Virgil Van Dyke. Yeah, VVD, gotta, baby. Gotta get a Van Dyke. Especially because I'm only five foot four. I want Van Dyke on the back of my shirt. Yeah. I just feel like that's funny. Like a tall, yeah, the big number, Van Dyke. The number represents inches. Inches? Five foot four. Five foot four? It does. He's our number four. <laughs> uh, so that's my number two. My number one is, that, see that scarf I got back there? It says, Champions of Europe. And there's six stars on it. I want that same scarf with seven stars Ooh, on it. look at you. That's my number one. You're plugging that. I want it this freaking year. You see that draw? Yeah, Champions it's a, it's a draw. beautiful draw. It's a good draw. Beautiful draw. Gank, Jank, Gank. 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 It's Gank. Gank is yep. gone. Gank. Yep, we got Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan, and, and we got Salisbury steak. Salisbury, Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, baby. Yeah, that's a great that's Napoli a, again. Ugh. That's like a website. What? www. Dot, get it? No. www. Win, win, win. Come on, we're gonna win. Yeah. There's no way we don't win all those games. I hope so. There's no I way. Hope so. There's no way. We were trying to work it out where we can go to the Napoli game, but it turns oh, out it's a day so before expensive. Day before Thanksgiving, and it's expensive. Oh, it's like nine hundred dollars to fly. Can you make more affordable flights to England, please? <laughs> to no, to Manchester. There are affordable flights to London, but we don't want to look at London again. No, we're done with London. No, London's <laughs> London's overrated. <laughs> Shout out to London. All right, let's go into our poems because oh, because poetry in the <laughs> Dodge Ram. Tra la 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 la. Poetry in the Dodge Ram, tra la 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 la. Poetry in the Dodge Ram, tra la 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 la. We're the best, two best friends in the world. Yes, we are. All right. <laughs> so this is a new segment. Uh, I hope it's a segment. I hope we do this more because this was funny. Yeah. Um. Well, we don't know if it was funny. I'm not sure I understand. She Siri doesn't, doesn't understand. understand. <laughs> she doesn't understand. But we understand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But oh. it was, it was so funny when you told me that you wanted to do this segment. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm need, glad you thought it was. We funny. need a staple. Yeah, and I hope this is a staple. I yeah. hope that you guys like it. It's uh -huh. so fun to write these poems. Mm. Before we do this, um, our email is theanfieldhumidor at gmail .com. Please send us emails, questions, uh, comments of the show, criticisms. Constructive criticisms, yeah. whatever you, what did you like, what didn't you like? We're trying to build this into a uh, something that is enjoyable to listen to. So please email us if it's good or bad. Email us. All right. We might and be able to turn that into a segment too, where we can actually answer them. Yes, that'd be really cool. Ask us any questions you want. Why is his beard red and his hair is brown? I don't have a beard. Why? Why do I only weigh 130 pounds and I'm five four and I'm freaking fast, son? Fast. Because you don't eat sugar. Because I don't eat sugar <laughs> and I'm better than everybody. <laughs> Save right. it for the poems. Okay. So, do you want to do yours first I, or mine? I don't know. I'm, I, I, don't I, want, know. I want you to do yours first because you were happy with I yours. I was so happy. I wrote this poem. This is going to be so stupid. No, it's not. It's great. All right. So, when we say these poems, the level has to come down. Okay. Okay. Talk into your mic. Okay. And do it like you're saying it in front of a, a, poet's, a poet I event. It. I love it. Okay? I love it. We're bringing it down. Maybe I bring some light music in the background. No. No, that's too much editing. Okay. Okay, go ahead. All right. Give me your poem. So, just a just a poem. There's no limits. There's no there's no time restraints. There no. doesn't have to be a cadence. It can be as All long right. or short as you want. Short, so, preferably short. So, I wrote a poem. And they have to be Liverpool related, right? It has to be Liverpool wanted, related. You kind of just told me to write a poem. So I gave you information. But you didn't ahead. give me a lot. Give me the lighter, All please. Right. <clears throat> this actually works for my poem. And I'll read it while I'm lighting. But soft. What light through yonder Anfield breaks. <laughs> It is the East, and Virgil van Dyke spun. <laughs> Arise, fair Virgil, and raise the cup. Do it for Liverpool, for Brian, Andrew, and for the cop. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's I think beautiful. It's great. I think it's great. Can you do it again? Do it again. But soft. What light through yonder Anfield breaks? It is the East. And Virgil van Dyke's bun. Arise, fair Virgil, and raise the cup. Do it for Liverpool, <laughs> for Brian, Andrew, and for the cop. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah. Mine are horrible. I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. That was great. That was they great. I love it. Oh, That's my poem goodness. one. That's Stay poem. tuned. That's poem number one. All right. Here's mine. <laughs> okay, bring it down. Oh, Van Dyke. Strong as a bear. But for some reason, Andrew doesn't like your hair. Oh, mané, mané, da 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 Flying through the air. But for some reason, Andrew doesn't like your hair. Oh, Fabinho, bald like the day you were born. Andrew obviously hates that because he's a moron. Maybe instead of hair, you can grow a unicorn horn. The end. <laughs> You suck! Okay, do you want... You, I have to tell you the second one because it's even worse. And it's short. It's short. It's even worse than oh. it's short. <laughs> this follows oh. no poetry rhyming scheme whatsoever. It's poetry in the Dodge Ram. Yeah. It's gotta be a poem. Okay. Jordan Henderson, I wish your first name was Flenderson. <laughs> because then we can call you Flenderson Henderson. <laughs> Wait, I need to restart this. I need to restart it. I don't know if you're going to repeat okay, that. Okay. Jordan Henderson. I wish your first name was Flenderson. Because then we can call you Flenderson Henderson. I bet your first name is Flenderson. And you have us all fooled. Yes, this poem is dumb. But the writer of it was homeschooled. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that Poetry in the Dodge Ram was a big success. <laughs> big success. I love that segment. Oh, that's that was favorite, awesome. That was that's great. That's my favorite thing we've ever done. All right, please email us. <laughs> Tell us, never do that again. <laughs> or please do it again. Oh, that's freaking oh, hilarious. Man. All right, what's on the docket here? <laughs> <laughs> that's it? No. Yeah. Political five? Anything? Political five. Anything off the top of your head? Political five? This is the Political Five segment where we talk for five minutes about... B -b 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 political we talk, Five. We talk for five minutes. You're making fun of stutterers. No, I'm not. Yeah? I'm not making fun of anybody. That's it's stutterer. Like no, That's so like, me too for stutterers. So you know like... Me too. When... No. <laughs> no, you know like when like you're watching the news and they do a CNN break... Or like a NBC breaking news story and it's mm -hmm. like... Do, 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 and then they like say... Oh. Tonight at 11. Oh, is that what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. Oh, I thought you were making fun of me for... Political top five. Why are you going... Top three. That sounds good. Okay. Whatever you say, son. Listen, man, this podcast needs all the help we can get. I'm just trying to help it out. That's all I'm doing. Do you have anything politics-wise you want to talk about? I got nothing coming to my mind. You would think we would have come up with this before the podcast, but what about... What about smoking laws... And what else? Like smoking, smoking in public. Well, I mean, you have smoking, a couple things going on. Smoking in, in general. You have a weed. couple things in America going yeah. on right now. All right, let's talk have, about smoking. You have legalization of marijuana. And what's place. your take? What's your take on that? Um, you have. Hold on. You have these. E and what's your take on that? I know. We'll talk about and it. And what's your? And but and, yeah, but, and, but, and, but, and and <laughs> and 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 oh man, hey, man, hey, so da, 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 you are. He <laughs> scored and got mad. Da, 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 da. Oh, for me, I had to calm him down. Da, 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 da. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just saying you have the legalization of marijuana, and then you have the mass distribution of these e-cigs, right? And with like unknown side effects, and we don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, but as you were asking before, you rudely interrupted me. My opinion on legalization of marijuana. I am all for the United States having uh, regaining their sovereignty over the federal government. I don't think uh, the Constitution or the way this country was founded was built upon the federal government being able to regulate inside state governance. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like, no, 100%. I don't think that... So New Jersey as a, as a state has an idiotic governor, but other than that has... <laughs> The right Amen, brother. has the right to say no to an overreaching federal government yes. that demands them to uh, to fall in line with federal policies that aren't legal. Like, like it's not it, those aren't they're not defined legally. Yeah. 
So, you know, I like at seeing... That same, at that same note, like you're saying, you know, you don't like the overreach of, of the federal government. I also don't like the overreach of the state going against the federal government. It's kind of like I a 2 I love prong. the state to find the federal government. How about guns? What about them? In New Jersey. Oh, taking away... <clears throat> exactly. So, so the state saying no to constitutional law, yes. though, that, I'm not okay with that. Exactly. But that's duh. I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm, okay with the state saying yeah, no to constitutional law. Of course, of course. I'm just saying it goes both ways in that in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I guess I would I guess I would classify myself as like a conservative constitutionalist ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's it's a, tough that's to a place a camp. Conservative constitutionalish constitutionalist ish is like a that's a technical term I think. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm with you on you you want you said you wanted it legalized or no you. I'm I'm pro. You're I'm pro, pro. I'm pro state legalization okay. of a, of a substance if it's taxed, if it's regulated. Okay. And if I if if the petty crimes that people are arrested for for a gram of marijuana, mm-hmm. if those people aren't in a broken prison system, so it's like I I, I am. So two things about that that I struggle with. Uh huh. You have alcohol which is legal, and regulated. Yep. How can you not have weed be legal and regulated? If you have alcohol, yeah. is legal and. I, I don't see how that, those two are happening. Weed is a lot less harmful for you than fine, alcohol. Fine, fine. I've know? never, yeah, I've never smoked weed. I don't know anything about it because I've never done it. But looking as an outsider, that's what I see. Yeah. I see how can you have alcohol? It kills families. Yeah. Yep. Okay, you know, how can you not have weed be legal if you're going to have alcohol? On the same note, at what point do you stop with with drugs? At what point? All right, so weed, you legalize weed. Okay. What's another drug that would potentially be legalized, shouldn't be legalized? Heroin? Like, what about that? Psilocybin. Psilocybin, but that's, uh, that's the, uh, so the chemical MDM- inside MDMA of, or whatever? No, or, uh, it's the chemical inside of, of hallucinogens. Okay. So it's, it's, what, it's what causes people to hallucinate. Okay. And you see this huge push in the 70s and the 80s. Right. From the federal government banning these substances. Okay. That cause no harm. Okay. Have, have been proven to cause no harm. What about societal impact? They make people um, go to resilient. Doc- no, okay. they make people resilient and open to the fact that there's more to life than being part of a system, All right. which a systematic government mm-hmm. for sure doesn't like. But you would say that someone should not be doing crystal meth. No, I'm not saying crystal crystal meth's not okay. Yeah, that's incredibly harmful. It's incredibly harmful. Yeah, it kills. But people. is it the right of the government to tell you you can't do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean... I, that's, all, that's all I'm trying to say is you have these two things. Freaking A. My cherry. Ugh, I always have cherry problems. Um, that's you have, what she said. You have... <laughs> it's a clean podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have those two camps. You have the... Not, not two camps. I'm saying you have those two arguments in my mind of the alcohol and weed, but then you have weed and crystal meth. So where... I'm, I'm just confused. Yeah. Like I, I agree with you. So, I think weed should probably be legal. I'm not saying it shouldn't. But crystal meth probably shouldn't be. I, I just don't know yeah, how you I work mean, all that out. There's there's a few things that I kind of think of when yeah. I think about it. So it's a, like I take a stand on something. I see it as growing naturally. Uh-huh. I see it as not uh, genetically altered, mm. not cooked, not not tainted, not. It's just it's just bud. Okay. You just have bud growing in your home. You're growing your own plants. You have you have stalks legalized in Cali now. Okay, but how is Heroin or cocaine? Yeah, it's cut. That's with natural. Like battery acid and yeah, it's cut it's with that. But a pure pure cocaine, how is that? I have no it's idea. It's cooked it's... with gasoline okay. and metal rods. So you bro. get the cocoa plant, and then a bunch of crap happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's got dried gasoline, so you kerosene. You and... shouldn't stop someone from taking the cocoa plant, rolling it up, and smoking it. I don't even know what that. Does. I don't know. Don't know what that does. <laughs> All I'm saying is, is I, gotcha. I have, like that. I like I, that. I, I like to be. I like I, that a lot. I like to not be so close-minded. Like you have this huge push of people that are so anti-government that are like legalize everything, man. Like I'm not. I don't want to be in that man. camp. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't want to be in that camp. Mm-hmm. But you also have to be reasonable. Yes. Like you know why alcohol is legal? Is it's taxed? Yeah. Tax it. Should it be? Okay should it be with, legal? Should alcohol be legal? Yeah. If if other controls, if other substances are called are uncontrollable level one substances, like the marijuana, like the low the low level 
naturally occurring substances. I don't know how, like mushrooms, marijuana, uh, Molly's manufactured, so I wouldn't put that in there. But like uh, ayahuasca, mm-hmm. DMT, mm-hmm. those those low level things that are naturally occurring in society. If those aren't regulated, and those aren't like penalized, or if those aren't like, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like if they're not. Regulated? Yeah. If if alcohol is and those aren't, why? Okay. Why? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'd have to agree with you. Yeah. It just you got to think about it. You got to think about things. Like, don't be such a slave to yeah. Oh man. Slave to a liber- like a liberalized media. Yes. And just actually formulate your own. And I'm not, I'm not saying liberals are wrong. No. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying conservatives are right. Yeah. But I am saying like formulate your own opinion. You do have some research. To, you have to do that with everything in life. Formulate your own friggin' opinion about it. It's like that Aziz screw, Ansari bit, right? Screw culture. Screw what your family thinks. Obviously, you should take what your family thinks into consideration. You should listen to your parents, things like that. But screw all that when you're trying to formulate your official opinion. Yeah. Take what they say. If you grow up in a, in a 100% liberal, you know, progressive family, look at that. Look at the other side. Do all that before you formulate opinions about things, about everything, about food, you could have it like I have my whole life about food. You have cheese. I hate cheese. So I have it in my head. I hate cheese. I don't eat cheese. That's the dumbest thing in the world. Yeah. That's the dumbest thing in the world. There's some ways to eat cheese. Totally. That are good. And you have to try it. <laughs> so try crystal so meth. Try crystal meth is what that's what I'm trying to tell the kids. Try crystal meth. No, that's not worth it. No, not at all. But yeah, I, I agree, man. And I'm the open mind, you got the, you know, that's a big thing on the left. Keep an open mind. I just, I wish I people, agree with them on it's that. It's like that Aziz and Zari bit, right? Which one? Like he has that bit about the pepperoni pizza. Yeah. And how, so Aziz and Zari is a comedian and he has this comedic, comedic bit that. And we got to see him work that bit. He talks about a Facebook post on a pepperoni pizza and how half, half the people say the pepperoni pizza looks like a swastika. The other half doesn't. And he asks all the people in the audience. He's well, like, no, he says, he, he says. There was a story in the media about someone taking a Pizza Hut pizza and putting a swastika of pepperoni on it. Did, yeah. you, guys, did you guys see that? Did yeah. you guys see that? And people in the audience say, "Yeah." Like, so he'll go, he'll pull the audience, and he'll go, "Who, who here thinks it looks like a swastika?" And so people raise their hands, and he goes, "And who here thinks it looks like a normal pizza?" And then other people raise their hands, and he goes, "Well, that's funny because I made all that up." Yeah. And then he just goes, "That's the problem is everybody's airing their opinion about things that they don't know what they're talking about. Yes. They're just airing their opinions and yes. airing their opinions. It's it's not a good thing. No. You're talking out your butt. Yes. 100%. You're talking out your butt. 100%. Do some research, formulate your own opinion and write into the show and subscribe and give, <laughs> us, give us a like and share the podcast. Yes, yes. And that's the end of our show, but like we said, make sure you go on, subscribe, do all that crap. We're not going to shove it down your faces every single podcast, but we're going to at least mention it. Political five, <laughs> political eight. That was was it eight? Was I it don't eight know. minutes? I don't know what it was. Times we don't we don't take times seriously in this podcast. Some some of them are going to be a half hour. Some of them might be an hour and a half. It's good to be back though. Oh, I missed you. I missed you too much. Missed you too, bro. And and what's happening? You're going on a twelve day vacation. I'll be back in time though. Liverpool's going on a fourteen day vacation. That's right. That's right. I'll what's the next back. game? Liverpool. It's the uh, Newcastle. No, it's the Champions League. No. no. Yeah, you're right. Liverpool Newcastle. Is on it Sunday. Newcastle on Sunday? Is it a Sunday? Because yeah, you're like, coming back the, on Sunday night. It's the 15th. I think it's a Saturday. 14th. Something it's like the that. 14th. I'll be back Sunday. All right. So that's going to be that podcast is going to be like a day or two late. But who cares? No, it'll be a day late. It'll be a day late. We'll have it done Sunday. Yeah. Sweet. All right, guys. This was the Anfield Humidor. My name's Brian. And my name's Andrew. And we will see you next time. I don't want this to end just like last time. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. <laughs>